What's poppin' people in James Warren? It's your girl Jay, and today I'm going to be doing a cooking video. Yes, I'm going to be doing a cooking video. Today I am going to be making hot Cheetos mozzarella sticks and hot Cheetos shrimp. I got this idea, the hot Cheetos mozzarella stick from Zai TV. Y'all go check her out. Her her tutorial was fine. And then I got the hot Cheeto shrimp from Tate and Lou. And I decided, hey, if I'm going to do the mozzarella sticks, I might as well try the shrimp too. So I just got back and got all the ingredients. I'm going to show you all the ingredients and show you all the process on how to make this. All right, so I'll see you when I get downstairs. All right, y'all. So these are my ingredients. Right here, I got my mozzarella sticks. Right here, I got my shrimp. Everybody was doing... Flour, I decided to do breadcrumbs because the breadcrumbs make it crunchier. Then I got my canola oil, and everybody else is just doing basic hot Cheetos. I decided to be different and use hot Cheetos, hot fries, and flaming hot Doritos to get a variety. And then I got a few seasonings right here. I'm gonna set the camera up and show y'all what I got going on. All right, so right here, I'm taking the shrimp out of the bag that they were in. They already came de vein, so all I had to do was de-shell them. So then at this point, I was taking the mozzarella sticks out. They're plastic, and boy, oh boy, was it a lot of plastic to get through. Y'all gonna see, I was struggling for a little second. I tried, I tried everything. I tried to unwrap two, three at once. It was not working. So this was a little tedious, but I got through it. See, I, I look struggling. Get it together, Jay. Come on. There you go. I knew better that time than to try to open three at a time. All right, so now I'm beating my eggs. I did two because I got both shrimp and mozzarella sticks. Can't nobody, yeah, can't nobody be eggs like me. And that's on game. All right, so at this point, I have two camera angles. So basically what I was doing right here was I was putting the mozzarella sticks in the egg wash and then taking them out, putting them in the breadcrumbs, back into the egg wash, and then into the either the hot Cheetos. The, I think I, I believe I started off with the hot fries. And after the hot fries, it was the hot Cheetos. I did one with the hot Cheetos, and then I did one with the flaming Hot Doritos. This part was kind of messy because you have to do it like hands on. Because if you try to do it with a fork, it doesn't get as coated. So make sure you get them hands in there. You got to get them hands dirty. Ain't nothing wrong with getting them hands dirty sometimes. But yeah, and make sure it's fully coated because I had like a few that weren't fully coated and ended up the cheese ended up spewing out of the uh the back, out of the coating. So make sure you get them fully coated. See, look at that. I should have really went in with the coating, but I didn't want to OD. But yeah. All right, for this part, I want to do a little different route. What I did was with the shrimp, I took them out of the bowl and I put them in flour. So I incorporated flour this time with the shrimp to make the shrimp extra crunchy. So it was flour, then I put them in the egg wash. And after the egg wash, I put them in the breadcrumbs and brought them back to the egg wash. And then after the egg wash, they went into the hot Cheetos. So, yeah, but I see y'all, I know y'all can see that like, the first batch that I did with the breadcrumbs and stuff didn't have any coating. And that's because I made some for my little cousin as well. And he doesn't eat spicy chips at this because he's young. So I made a few without the hot Cheetos just for him. But, yeah, so like I said, your hands going to get a little dirty here. You got to be able to get in there and get deep. Now, with this... This was a smart move, like using the the flour and the breadcrumbs. It made it way crunchier and it made it like a stronger coating. Look, look at that. Once I coated them, they look fire. Okay, they look amazing coated. I did that. I did that. I'm y'all see me chatting. Me and my auntie was talking some about some other things, other 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 things. But yeah, I continued doing that. And because I really did have relatively a lot of shrimp, so it was, it was, it was, it was a lot, but I got through it. Um, I did end up using more egg than what I showed you. I know I showed you at the beginning, I ended up using two eggs, but I think in total, I ended up using about maybe six or seven eggs. That's because I didn't think it was that much shrimp 
until I started coating them and really getting deep. I ended up using about two cups of flour and roughly six eggs. Yeah, about six or seven eggs. But yeah, make sure you get down and dirty. Don't be afraid. All right, y'all. So now I'm outside. I got my oil heating up. I'm actually going to add the rest of the oil. And then I got my my shrimp and mozzarella sticks right here. Okay. So now we're about to just wait for the oil to heat up. Yeah, we're deep frying it outside so the house don't smell like shrimp. All right, let's get it. All right, y'all. So I'm about to drop the shrimp in the fryer. The oil is all hot. And we in there like swimming. Oh, no. oh. It smells good. You can't even lie, y'all. So we got the first batch that just came out, and then we just dropped some more. And it actually tastes good. It tastes good, but there's flies out here. So I'm hurry up and close this up. Yes, ma'am. All right, so the last little bit of the shrimp in the oil. And then we got the mozzarella sticks for last. The bubble, bubble, bubble. And let me show y'all what we got left. Mozzarella sticks. And let me show y'all the product. Okay. The product. I'm going to start a restaurant just for fried shrimp. All right. I'll be back to you. All right. So now we about to drop the mozzarella sticks in. And I'll see y'all once they're out. Who is hot? We about to try it. This is a shrimp. Oh, I did that. Mm-hmm. I did that. I'm going to try my sorrel ship. Yes. August. August. New album. Oh, yeah. That was good. So, Shout out to Zai TV for showing me what I should make. Also, check out August Alcina album and check out Pop Smoke album. Pop Smoke! And check out Summer Walker, new EP that dropped this morning. Summer Walker! I'll see y'all later and Summer wait Walker. for my reaction video dropping later. And arrest Breonna Taylor's killer. Yes, I can't breathe. Black Lives Matter, I need y'all to do me a favor. Call that number and get Breonna Taylor killers arrested. I'll see y'all later.